Here I am standing on Hyzex Buoy Island. These Hyzex buoys, these large black buoys, were released by the Japanese tsunami on March 11th, 2011, and came as part of an array that was used in oyster aquaculture. Each buoy has a rope on it with scallop shells woven into the rope for oyster spat to recruit to and grow on. Um, this oyster farming operation was wrecked, including the anchoring structure, and drifted out here into the Central Pacific, forming an island. We have out here the west end we're calling uh, Sunken Buoy Reef. Out to the west, I can see an albatross flying out there. Uh, it extends about 30 feet uh, as a reef, kind of, with a tail on the west side of the island. We're drifting gradually to the eastward at the moment. We have uh, another rope beach here at the end of the island, and it gathers all the kinds of things that we find in our trawls and in our surveys, such as these uh, traps for eels. These are one of the most common debris items that we find out here. A lot of bait traps in the fishing industry, but we also find consumer goods as well. And there's cups like this. There's lids of trash cans like this. Here is the south point of the island. This makes a kind of a little jetty going out here. And uh, it uh, is matted rope that is catching a lot of plastic fragments. If you can see right down here, there's a tremendous number of these small plastic fragments that litter the beaches in Hawaii. These fragments have been caught by this island and serves as a beach out here in the middle of the garbage patch collecting the garbage. Uh, driftwood as well, as you can see here. Uh, driftwood has made it to the island and uh, it continues to collect more and more stuff. We do not have the technology or the wherewithal to tow it away or dismantle it and take it away. We're a small research vessel, so this will have to remain here when we leave.